today we are going to be looking at a topic titled the difference between gift and daily discernment. Difference between the gift and a daily discernment. Amen. We are going to be founded in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 from verse number 7 to verse number 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 in the New King James Version. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the same Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We are found in the book of First Corinthians, uh, the 12th chapter. The purpose of the book um, the author is Apostle Paul used instrumentally by the true Holy Spirit he is writing to this church around AD 53 to AD 54 to address the concerns that came to him as an apostle. Major concerns were divisions amongst the church and also there was a very rampant uh, spirit of sexual immorality and that was caused by them failing to understand the fundamentals of the gospel. This is informed by the geographical location of the city of Corinth because the title of the book uh, follows uh, the geographical, the actual city Yes, the city of Corinth. Yes, it is located in the Roman government of Achaia. Amen. So, by virtue of the location of the city, it was placed, it is placed between the two harbors. It is in the trade route. If you go to the Roman capital, from Asia to Rome, you will pass through Corinth. So it's a harbor on the left and a harbor on the right. So because it was in the trade route, it was a, a place where people were living liberal lives. People were very opinionated according to the current trends of the world in Corinth. Yes. And naturally, or rather, um, from its origin, it is of a Greek origin. But by 146 BC, as the Roman, as the Roman Empire rose, Achaia was, was conquered and it became a province of the Roman government with Corinth as the capital city. So because of that history, the Roman politically ruling over the region, you will find that religiously speaking, the people of Corinth were worshipping the gods of the Romans. They were polyesthetics. Yes, some were worshipping the gods of the Romans. And some were also worshipping the gods of the Greeks. So now when the gospel came, it came, uh, it took them from 
the pagan worship. And it introduced them to the living God. Amen. So now, as the apostle is writing, he's writing to this novice church. Because if you look at the timeline, it's AD 53 to AD 54. And if you are going to count back, the Lord ascended to heaven. Um, around 8032. So it means from 8032 to 8054. Which marks the, the, the date of the authorship of this letter. It's just a short period of about 24 years. So you can actually see that the, the, the message of the gospel it was in its infancy. It was still taking root. But I want you to look at the two aspects, this aspect. That though it was still, the gospel was still at an introductory level. Around the, 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 the audience, the church of Corinth, there were new converts. But within that 24 year window, the Lord did groundwork unto those who had willing hearts. So he, he was able to, 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 to use Apostle Paul, who matured within that 24 period window. And the Lord used him to lay the foundation. Because as, as you read the book, you'll find that he speaks about his ministry and also the ministry of Apollos. That he laid the foundation and Apollos watered. So within yes, it was the church was still in, 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 in its early stages. But the likes of Paul have already written, risen. Yes, and, and the likes of Apollos were already in operation, being used mighty of God. But on the other hand, there were still people who were still, who were still trapped in pagan worship. I would like to believe that there were believers who were converted earlier than Paul and Apollos, who were in the peripherals and the regions of Corinth, but who were still carnal. It is the faith that we have even in the current church. That it, it, how much the Lord accomplishes is the function of how much you allow him. It's a function of how much we yield to him. Amen. As long as you send about it, I'm going to go come back to the same as a bang wheel exon. I'm going to go back to the same as a bang wheel exon. I'm going to go back to the same as a bang wheel exon. I'm going to go back to the same as a bang wheel exon. I'm going to go back to the the same as a bang wheel exon. I'm going to go back to the same as the book of Corinthians. Where we find, and we, are, we and we are slowly going to find ourselves. So that we are able to be assisted even today. That's how we study the word of God. 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 That's how we study he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. So that's where we are. So in location. So in chapter 12. We are Paul. Apostle Paul he is speaking. speaking about that this church is grace. He says they are, they, are, they are in short of no spiritual gift. But in chapter 5, he speaks about 
sexual immorality. So there is a contrast of the abundant giftings and cracks in the character of Christ. Okay, so now in chapter 12, he is illuminating giving understanding of the purpose of the giftings of God. He said pertaining to that which comes from the spirit. I do not want you to be ignorant. Amen. Amen. All right. So now let's look at verse number seven. He says, but the manifestation of the spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. All right, verse number eight. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the spirit to another the word of knowledge through the same spirit. Verse nine. To another, by, to another faith by the same spirit to another gifts of healing by the same spirit to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to another different kind of tongues to another the interpretation of tongues. Now, these are the gifts of the Holy Spirit. They belong to Holy Spirit. But he chooses to manifest them as he sees fit so that those who are in the vicinity of where he is operating may benefit. So the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the profit of all. So now what is the Spirit of the Lord teaching there? When he says, these are the manifestation of, of the Spirit. So he is separating men from these gifts these are the gifts of the spirit of the living God he is specifying the owner of the gifts he is the owner of yes. these gifts so he is the owner of these gifts. This gifts that's number one and, but the manifestation, what is, what, is, what is to manifest is to bring that which is hidden unto the light. Oh, mm. Because the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So there are certain things that must not be exposed, that must be concealed. Because the Holy is of Holies, where the Ark of the Covenant is, was covered by the tent. And even before the Lord Jesus Christ went to the cross, there was a curtain that was hiding, concealing the Ark of the Covenant. So the Ark of the Covenant is what your body is today. Because inside of you is the Holy Spirit of God. So if the Ark of the Covenant was placed in a designated place and it was veiled by a sheet, so it means this your body by design it should not be exposed anyhow so this is your body by design is to be kept sacred just as the ark of the Lord was kept sacred veiled by the, by, by the curtain the only person who made a way to the holies to, to the holies of holies where the ark of the covenant was was the Lord Jesus Christ of, of, of Nazareth so it means the access to this your body and even unto your, in, unto your inner man access 
should be regulated. Access should be given unto the Lord and to the Lord himself. So where we are, we have allowed the strangers to come unto the holy place of our hearts. We have allowed people who are not authorized because by the old covenant, it was the Levitical priesthood that was given the right to enter and minister into the tabernacle. Kings were not allowed because even the king Uzziah after the Lord has given him strength after the Lord has given him grace and helped him to grow and to some true kingdom and establish himself he became puffed up and he switched roles and he wanted to burn incense and the Lord charged him with leprosy because he was not allowed to enter into the tabernacle because that was the duty of the priest. So now, we have been given our bodies are the type of that, of that tabernacle of the Lord. In fact, we are. We are not the type, but we are. We are to keep the body holy for the Lord. Access should be given unto him and him alone. Noises that are happening around the noise of demons through men we have allowed to enter into our hearts. We have allowed ourselves to be taught by circumstances. We have allowed ourselves to be taught by the past. We have allowed ourselves to be crippled by ideas of where we come from. We have allowed ourselves to be conditioned by current circumstances. We have failed in our priesthood because each and every one of us by virtue of the Holy Spirit living on the inside of you it makes you a priest submitting unto the high priest who is the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So we have failed in the priesthood. We have failed to keep our bodies holy. We have failed to live a concentrated life for the Lord. Amen. Amen. So now we are to come back and understand who we are according to the patterns of heaven and order our steps righteously. Okay, so now we were looking at the Holy Spirit and his gifts. Okay. So now today we are looking at the difference between the gift of discernment and, and daily discernment. So in this portion, show, can you show us verse number nine? To another faith, to another by the same spirit, the gift of healings, the next verse, verse 10. Okay, so now we see now there are nine of them, these gifts. And we find there the gift of discerning spirits. It comes from the Holy Spirit. So we have the source and we have the purpose. All right. Now, before we can be carried away, let us remind ourselves of a few definitions. The term gift you are going to see it recurring throughout the teaching and even as we go along this is nothing else but charisma um, according to the original Greek language which simply means the extraordinary power that enables the saints to serve the church of God. The reception of which is due to the power of divine grace operating through them by the Holy Spirit. Yes, so it's extraordinary power that enables the saints to serve the church. Amen. Let's make this example. You find yourself at work 
environments where you um okay i guess kulu menge covid Let's speak about COVID. Yes, it was. My health workers. When you get to the hospital, you can't just and work wearing a suit as I am. Yes. So finally, you must be clothed with the right yes. clothing. Yes. Is it is it good PPE? These are the type of clothes that will help you in the environment that you are in. That it must not be toxic to you. In the period that you are on site, which is eight hours on a day. So, actually, you can use PPE to be able to use it. You don't normally buy your own PPE or your own uniform. But you find the right PPE. But you find it at work. Yes. So, you find the right PPE. You find it at work. You wear it at work. And you find the right PPE. You wear it at work. And you find the right PPE. And then you leave it at work as well. Do find some people who can get some some allowed to live there. Some of us have to see if you work at work and you live there. Because it's the clothes that you wear for work. All right. So now. Let's see the police. Now these gifts of Holy Spirit. Let us now like give them as clothes. Empowerment. As in the case of my own will. Our man who was when I was who said I'm not by Holy Spirit, so that he's able to work through us. Seven, seven, seven. What we are keeping. Working the work of building his church. Amen. So I have come to us when can I inform? No one can just wear their uniform. You wear your uniform when you work, and then you leave it behind. Then you go back to your normal clothes, which you were wearing when you came to work. Now, I'm going to tell you something. 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 I'm See a hand to show off a good thing. The overall look of the team. Showing off. Yeah, but you watch over the looks of Benz. I go here. Showing off with your work. Can't you guys ever think the left hand is still shooting out? Let's see the left. We must wear that work and leave it there. And then wear your normal clothes. Amen. So now the gifts of the Holy Spirit. They are for the Holy Spirit. The gifts of the Holy Spirit. They are for the Holy Spirit. For the work. But now we tend to be confused and attach ourselves to the kids. Amen. We attach ourselves to the kids. We attach ourselves to the moment and the workings of the spirit, and we use that as a yardstick to measure our spiritual growth. It's a fault. And we have to correct it today because your gift, your office, it can be a vehicle that you ride on your way to hell. Let me speak this office. That your office, the gift that you have, can be a vehicle, a Ferrari for that matter. Then you will be where you are and lead you straight to hell. If you do not change and be likened to Christ, so today the task is to make a distinction between the gifting, the gift of discernment, and daily discernment. Amen. We are going to. By the help of the Holy Spirit, we are going to see the difference. Because these ones, they are for the Lord, the Holy Spirit, for the work. Right. Now, if we continue, now we said we are looking at the gift, difference between the gift and daily discernment. Amen. Daily discernment. I want us to look at the word daily. We take it light. We pray the Lord's prayer. Say, give us this day our daily bread. Amen. 
So the word daily. When you look at it from the scriptures, especially in the New Testament, it appears 22 times. But um, when you look at it from the entire Bible, it's around about 60 times. But when you zoom into the New Testament, there is one root uh, of this word that keeps on recurring the, the term daily. Okay. It is the term himera. Um, this term has four uses. It could mean it can be it can be used in four different ways. First one. Yes, it can be used to describe an interval between sunrise and sunset. Yes, interval between sunrise and sunset. Okay, so this term day. So, if you look at the book of Nehemiah chapter 3, sorry, Nehemiah chapter 9, verse number 3, it speaks about the custom uh, of the Israelites that for, for a quarter of the day they will read the law and for a quarter of the day they will confess their sins unto God. So if you take a quarter and a quarter you get half. So if, 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 if we look at 24 hours at the total day so it means Israel from sunrise to sunset in the Sabbath day they were in the presence of the Lord. Amen. So it is that interval between what? Sunrise and sunset. Himera, daily. Okay. Second, second way is a civil day which is just our normal day, a 24-hour day. Yes, this word can also mean, can also refer to that. Amen. An evening, um, kindly show us Genesis chapter 1, verse number 5. Genesis chapter 1, verse 5. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. So that's how God reckons time. So according to God, the day does not, does not start in 12 midnight. But it starts at 6 p.m. So it's from 6. Then is the night. Until 6 the following. Where, where the light breaks forth once again. All right. There is a very challenging passage of scripture. That has been in my spirit for quite a long time. Matthew chapter 14. Uh, verse number 23. Verse 23. We are going to just pass there and. Matthew chapter 14, verse 23. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now when evening came, he was alone there. This is where the Lord Jesus Christ was. Um, he took his disciples. He took them aside. And to a form of a deserted place. And then he challenged them. Uh, because there were multitudes following him for a good three days. I think John also records the same passage in chapter, 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 chapter number six. Now, for three days, they were, they were following the Lord and they were now hungry. And then he said, what are we going to give them? He poses that question unto the disciples. And then Andrew came, came, came with an answer and he said, there is a boy that has but five loaves and two fish. 
And then, as we know the story, the Lord asked that that be given to him. But there are two schools of thoughts there. Because the other disciple was calculating, looking at the multitudes, how much, how many people were. And then he began to attach a monetary value of the type and, 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 and the money that would be paid to buy bread that will satisfy each and every one of them. So he was calculating by the by dimensionals of his mind as to how to provide for the congregation naturally. But Andrew came in a different school because he said, this is the little that we have. And then the Lord responded to what Andrew said. He said, let the little that you have be given unto me. It reminds me of a story of Elijah with the, with the widow in Zarephath. Because the Lord had appointed that widow to provide for Elijah because he was coming from the brook that has dried up because of the, 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 the drought that is upon the land. Oh, the land. Now the prophet was speaking by the word that he spoke. God said the heavens would shut. So and the water ran out. It happened that the word that we speak passed us. Because even John the Baptist, he was beheaded by the word that he spoke. Now we know that when we come, the word that 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 we come, he closed the heavens. Ah, let it drought. They brought about drought. Now again, so even again. to him. So it means is mabeli pum. Age kundo exam to go on. No one is exempted. Age kundo exam That's why the Lord Jesus. Ukuluma huti gem. His winnowing fan is in his hands. And he shall thoroughly patch his threshing floor. He shall gather the wheat unto his bin. And the chaff he shall burn with unquenchable fire. Because the threshing floor belongs to the Lord. It is him who knows how to maintain it. It is him who does the separation. It is him who knows what has crept into it. Our duty is to hand back the threshing floor to his or to its owner. Because he knows how to maintain it. He knows how to how to separate the chaff from the chaff from the wheat. It is his threshing floor. It is him who does the cleaning. Ours is to get down on our knees and pray unto him and continually hand back the church to him that everything that rises as impurities he has a plan. He has a plan of cleansing his church. He has a plan of cleansing his bride. Ours is to go to higher levels of intercession. Ours is to gear up our prayer life in the presentation of the church to God because the tool of the enemy is that in this season he causes us to focus on each and everyone's faults and forget the place of power the place of prayer so ours is to, is to forget about what is currently happening all around us and interpret that as a call to higher levels of prayer the base of every ministry is, is, is intercession. The base of everything that the Lord will ever launch in your life is prayer. So the enemy knows the lethal weapon and he goes for that weapon 
And he takes it away. So ours is to be wise. Not to, not to forget what the Lord said. That we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against powers and principalities. And spirit of wickedness in high places. So we cannot fight a, a spiritual battle with carnal tools. Amen. So, the threshing floor belongs to him. Now, going back to this passage. So, Andrew, Andrew was walking in the revelation of seed time and harvest. And he allowed for the loaves to be given unto the Lord, the loaves and the fish for multiplication. So the Lord multiplied and he fed the multitudes about 5,000 men excluding women and children. I don't know why they were not counted but they were not counted but all of them. But they counted the men. Maybe it's because of the seed. That is in the men. Because when the Lord speaks, He is after. He has crafted a system, a principle of a seed. So when He wants to create a nation, He creates one man. Glory to the Lord. So now, when 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 we look at this passage, can you show us first? Yes. So. 1423, Matthew, please. Yes. Right. So, after that whole activity of, 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 of multiplying bread and fish, so, pinda, pinda, gi, tante, yes, uh, he caused the people to go. Now, and then, first group is the people. Bread eaters. They had to go. And then the next group was the disciples. They also had to go. And also we find him here alone. Now when he said, we sent the multitude away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now when evening came, he was alone there. So now when evening came, this is about 6 p.m., so it means by six he was there alone getting ready to engage in prayer so we are not going to exhaust the whole passage because when you read it speaks about him that at the fourth watch of the night he came to his disciples because there were two locations he was there in the mountain praying and then the disciples were rowing in the lake contrary, the wind was contrary to them they were struggling while he was praying they were struggling while he was praying they were struggling while he was praying again there are two modes of operation the sweat and the physical strength and the, and the way of the spirit the way of the altar the way of the altar achieves far greater than the way of, of, of the physical because the wind was contrary to them for good nine hours because when you look at the, 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 wash, the first wash of the night it's six o'clock second watch is nine that's three hours then the, the third watch is twelve o'clock and then the fourth watch is 3, it's 3, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. So it means the Lord was in prayer for nine hours. And when he comes back, after that period of nine hours of prayer with the Lord, God in heaven, he comes back walking on the sea. He came to the prayer altar, walking as a natural man. But after nine hours of prayer, he came walking on the sea. There is a switch of nature as you go into prayer. Because 
the divinity is on the inside of us. It is awaiting activation in the prayer altar. Because the Lord, when he came to the place of prayer, he was a natural man. But when he came, he came in his capacity as God even over the waters. So when he came to those who were rowing by their, by their strength, Peter, because of his spirit, his spirit leaped for joy as he was beholding the Lord walking on the waters. It was early in the morning. There was no light, but he was able to see the Lord because the word of God says, in him is the fountain of life. In his light, in his light, we see light. So even though the sun was not evident in the time, eight hours of the morning, because, because, but because the source of light was visible and the spirit of Peter was acquainted with the light, he was able to identify him. Discernment. He was able to see the Lord as he was walking in darkness. He was able to perceive him that it is not the spirit of the Antichrist because even the spirit of the Antichrist is going to rise from the sea. He was able to tell that this is the true Christ. So he was able to tell from a distance the person of the Lord. Not only was he able to tell and identify the Lord, but he was able to identify and initiate a move because as we are called him, the Lord is waiting for us. He has crafted a way that we may be able to come to the holies of holies. But we have to initiate by virtue of what we have known. By faith, the word of God says faith cannot be through hearing and hearing by the word of God. By the faith that we have by the word of God, that should prompt us to change levels in prayer and go to the secret place and initiate the move. Just as Peter initiated the move, he said, if it is you, Lord, bid me to come to you and to the waters. I would like to believe that the waters were not still. They were turbulent. Peter left the comfort zone and he, he went to a place of inconvenience. We are living in a day and age whereby our choices are, are informed by convenience. Unfortunately for us, if we are to cross the veil and go to the holies of holies, it is a way of inconvenience. We are going to arrive at where the Lord is by the way of the sacrifice. It is the way of pain. We have got to master the skill of changing pain into place. Just as Paul and Silas, as they were beaten, <laughs> after the exercise, after the Holy Spirit exercised the gift of discernment, and he, the Apostle Paul was able to tell that the slave girl that was following him, though he was, she was speaking something that is pleasant to hear, though he was speaking things that was pleasant to hear to the flesh of a minister, because there are kind of ministers that are puffed up by the applause of men in the body of Christ who are rejoicing because of the followers that they have who are rejoicing because of the size of the membership of the church of their churches so Paul was different he was not moved by the audience of the slave girl and, his con and her confession but he was a man who, whom the Lord has worked whom the Lord has worked how so? He was worked by the desert. He says in the book of Galatians, I did not rush to go to Jerusalem to see other apostles, but I went to Arabia and for three years he stayed in Arabia. He did not see the Lord. He did not walk the Lord in the flesh. But he says the gospel that I preach, I was not taught, but I received it by revelation because it took time, three years, to grow the roots 
It's time to know the Lord this year. It is time to know the Lord this year. The roots when they grow, they do not carry a microphone or, or a megaphone and say, look, I am growing. They grow in secret. But the fruit of the growth of the roots shows up because it brings about stability. It, the roots also facilitate the movement of water and nutrients from the soil and the fruits appear. Should there be stagnation in the roots that she will die. So somebody has to go to Arabia before, before we can open up our mouth and speak. Somebody has to go to the desert because Arabia is the place in the desert. I don't know whether the same Arabia is the same location where the first apostle, the apostle Moses went to Horeb because it's the same geographical location. I do not know whether they were in the same mountain or not because Moses was given a task to take Israel out of physical bondage. But the Apostle Paul, according to Acts chapter 26, verse number 15 to verse number 18, he is commissioned as the minister of the gospel. He says, the Lord says to him, I have appeared to you for this one purpose, to make you a minister, and the things, and, to, and the weakness, and to the things, that, that you have seen and the things that I will show you. In verse number 18, he speaks about his mandate. He said, I have commissioned you to open up the eyes of those who are blind, to turn them from the power of Satan and to the power of God so that they may have an inheritance to the faith that is in me. So the apostle Paul was given a mandate to take us out, to take the church out of the spiritual bondage and the gods that cannot be seen by the naked eye. While Moses was given a commission to take Israel out of the God that could be seen. But the common, the hub, the birthing place of the two apostolic ministries is Arabia. So now it is the time for us to go to this place for the growth of the roots. Amen. Amen. That wasn't in my plan. Amen. Amen. So we now we're looking at discernment. All right. Uh, okay. So we were looking at the prayer of the Lord. Day. Herema, that this term could mean a civil day. So we were looking at the civil day, 24 hour day. That even the Lord started a day in prayer. And then the first half of the day, as it was about to be completed, it was in prayer about four watches of the night. And then we were looking at the power of prayer. Okay, right. So now this term could also mean the last day of this present age. Okay. According to Second Timothy chapter 2, verse number 1, the day of the Lord, we are not going to go there. So the term day can also be used to describe that day, the eschatological day, where the Lord is going to come and, and, and charge the world according to his righteousness. It's the day of the Lord. It, it, it has a recurring theme in the Old Testament. Day. All right. Then also it can, the last one, the fourth one, it can also be used to, to refer to the life span. Like in the days like um, of Noah, uh, for example, the example that you can make is Enoch. That Enoch walked with God and he was no more because God took him. And it, it, when it refers to his years, it says his days, and then it specifies 300 day, 365 days in total. So the term day can also refer to a lifespan of an individual. I don't know how many days you have left. Because these days have been and you've been doing what you like with so the days that the Lord has given you. Now time has come. 
Peter Peter says in chapter 4, he says we have had enough time for us to do that which is our will, but now. Because now we know the truth. We cannot walk like a a pagan. Because we have a fixed number of days. So now, the onus is on us to seek the will of God. And then, whatsoever is remaining in our days that the Lord has given us, we have to maximize every moment. Amen. Amen. All right. So now that is the term daily. So when we look at a daily discernment, so we want to arrive now at, at ascertaining the difference between the gift of discernment and daily discernment. Amen. So now. By the help of the word of God. Uh, let us look at Matthew chapter 7, verse number 22. To verse 23. Matthew chapter 7, verse 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me. You who practice lawlessness. Hallelujah. Amen. It's the sermon of the mount <inaudible> by the Lord. <inaudible> the inauguration of the kingdom of, <inaudible> of, of heaven in earth. <inaudible> okay, let's talk about the kingdom. <inaudible> what are the components of the kingdom? <inaudible> the kingdom comprises of four elements. <inaudible> it has a king. <inaudible> There is a culture. Yes, there are also principles. And there is also a territory. That is what the, the, the kingdom is about. All right. So when the Lord came, so it is in the heart of kings to expand. So expansion okay, Expansion comes by the enlargement of the kingdom to another territory. It can also come by the increase of, of the influence of the culture of that particular kingdom being poured out to many and many more subjects. So when the Lord came, he came from heaven to earth. Heaven, I would like to believe that heaven, I've never been there. Heaven, um, it's a planet. I would like to believe that it's a planet. It's, it's, it's a territory. That's where the throne of the Lord is. And also the earth is a planet. So it means the kingdom of God as the Lord came he came for a sole mandate of expanding the kingdom of heaven by establishing it here on earth. Okay. How so? By by, 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 by teaching the ordinances of this kingdom here on earth. Amen. So when you look at Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7, these are the principles of the kingdom of heaven. That as we aspire to go there one day, we should write into, into the heart, into our heart and our minds and do them because kingdom it's a theocracy. Yes, it's the word of the king. The word of the king is, 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 is law. It, the kingdom, kingdoms are run, are not run by opinions. Kingdoms are not run by votes and democracy. 
But they are run by the utterances of the heart of the king. So when the Lord Jesus Christ comes, he first ascends to the mountain and sit as a king. And then he begins to legislate. So whatsoever he speaks, his word is law. Alright. Now, chapter number 5. He is speaking about righteousness. And he is speaking about righteousness. The very thing that was lost uh, at the Garden of Eden as the man fed. Uh, the Apostle Paul, through the Holy Spirit, he refers to the Lord as the last Adam. Because the first Adam was characterized by disobedience. But the last Adam is characterized by obedience. So the righteousness of God was lost in the first Adam because as he sinned as the scriptures declares that is the sin enters by one man and, and, and all of us who are in the loins of Adam we inherited sin and because sin came with death so a sin and death came through the disobedience of the first Adam. So the last Adam came with the total opposite. He obeyed. And then by his obedience, the word of God says, he was made manifest so that he may destroy the works of the devil. So the, 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 the entrance of sin is the chief work of the enemy. So the manifestation of the second person of the Godhead in time was, was for the sole purpose of reversing the works of the devil, the bringing in of death unto the human race. Okay, so when he comes, when the Lord comes in Matthew chapter 5, he is speaking about the restoration of God's righteousness. He says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Okay, so. He says, blessed are those who are pure in heart, for they shall see God. He is giving a way of us moving from where we are. Because Colossians chapter 1 verse number 13, he says, he has translated us from the dominion of darkness unto the kingdom of light, the kingdom of his dear son. So we are coming from the kingdom of sin and death. And we are coming into a different kingdom. The kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So the laws that operate in this kingdom are found in those three chapters. Chapter number six, it speaks about worship. You will find prayer, you will find fasting, and you also find giving. Okay. Now here's a story. Matthew 624. Can you kindly show us on the screen? Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. All right. So now the Lord, he is focusing in course. On, 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 on giving. Now he zooms into this particular verse. He is speaking, he is speaking about two masters. Because as we have spoken, we were controlled by Satan. And we switched masters. Yes, according to Ephesians chapter 2. We were walking unto under the obedience of the prince and the power of the air. The spirit of whom who works in the sons of disobedience. So that's where we come from. One master, Satan, 
right? Mm -hmm. So now the Lord has rescued us in principle. And he has given us a new master, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay. So what, what does that mean? Slavery has not ended. But we have just switched God masters. We, are, we were slaves unto sin. But we must be slaves unto Man righteousness. Because the, six, the sixth book of Romans, God, in what the Roman, it, 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 that principle is explained no, at length. No, no, there. Okay, so what, what we ought to, 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 to remember is that we are under a new master and submission is, is still expected for us to flourish in this kingdom. All right, so now, he is also speaking about the same principle now. Now, zooming into this particular subject, the subject of, of giving. Right. He says, no one can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other. And else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. No mammon. Amen. Amen. So who is Mammon? Ubanu Mammon. Umammon ilonkulunkulu lo owenza uguti. Mammon is this God that makes you not have inclination to the things of the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. And this year, it's one of our prayer projects to identify the altars of Mammon and the agents of Mammon within the nations. And get them out of the way. Because we have been crippled. The church cannot operate. Because it lacks finances. Because we are yielding to this God. This man. He takes the time. I have not seen But him. I think now he's got maybe 18 years. Because he's now feeding, he's feeding on the tithe. That's how he grows. And as well as as this now happens, the channel of provision for the nation he now gets shut up. Simply because this God. Amen. So we need to have a strategic way. But each and every single one of us, and the in the heavenly father, I sought for a man. It begins with one man. Also, such an introspection. Also, as to check and the influence and the doctrine of this God. We have to come out of it. And then as we have to come out of it. And then as we have to come out of it. And then as we have to come out of it. And then as we have to come out of it. And then as we have to come out of it. And then as we have to come out of it. And then as we have to come out of it. And then as we have to come as he was resurrected from the dead, that power remains with him and it's also in us. So as we confront the spirit in our own lives, as the Lord gives us victory, then we'll be in a better position to, to help the next person. And then as that now continues to happen, the church of God will be able to be delivered and set free because God is faithful. If you are faithful in our tithes and offering, there's nothing that we are not going to be able to do. Because it's the principle that he has kept in place. Now, this spirit does not only take physical things, but the return channels it is not that you to someone at the bank and give you or give you money, no. But it's, 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 
area of finances. In this area of finances. See how began journey as the church. How do we then do? It's one of our return channels. In course, which is seven seven side. Look at the life of Abraham. I guess we keep it Abraham. Palestine. In Palestine. It was a desert. What we stand. I go on in the way for an Allah. A case that any subtropical, any such as the desert, and where we've got green trees. So, who was Abraham? Beno, I say, why Abraham? Why must I reach a land to live? Abraham must. And then why say from this? And then he taught his son Isaac. Who Abraham? Who was in full of his was flourish. For Abraham to. I would like to believe that God gave him the idea to now dig wells. That the water underneath it must be dug out. If you are able to access the wells and the water, what can you be able to give a man the full energy? What can you go to be able to give your flock water? And then you will be able to create our irrigation systems for the land. So in Genesis chapter 26, that is why in Genesis 26, when Isaac continues while he's dead, he's no more. Because the devil now knows that Abraham is not the one who is going to give the land. Because we are attacked by poverty. Then no more. 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 Then how much the rainfall in that particular area, and even the the economy of the country. Yes, no, but when the rain falls, it means that at the feast and then when the food, if there's food, and then there's a number that is fixed in that particular area. The price of the food. The price of the food. It's determined by the principle of what is needed. What is said. If you look at potatoes, there's a lot of potatoes in December. That's why they cost less. As you move in, you know, man, you go to January, February, January, January, February. Man, man, the market, the price is going to shoot. Why? There's now short supply and the price is going up. It was many wanted the supply and the shortage of supply. So, over the next year, now, man, I'll be offering you economy as well. Now, if you want to change the economy of the world, you can manipulate the economy of the world. You can manipulate it by rain. So, 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 you Israel's GDP yeah, by his is, word, and then the climate. He spoke the word, and then as the climate changes, the climate systems even now push to food that within the country. Even the 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 the, 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 the so food supply within the country changes. So Zion tells us in the letter that wisdom goes to church. So I beg you for the church. That the Lord has placed for the church. Man, I be ulet I tied. It's not only what is over blessed and what is over malini, but the Lord will open up ama ilokuza ama chana zekuya zi wisdom because the wisdom creates everything. So we start to understand the law principle there. He went for the world. Because he knows that if there's no water, there won't be food. So then, the restoration. Now, this restoration during Isaac's time, what happened? Is that his servants went back to the wells that they had dug and moved the soil. But they advanced. They advanced. They advanced. They advanced. They advanced. They advanced. See how be, see fail it, lagwa fail it, kono baba be. To now fail where our fathers failed. I refuse to be like that. Yeah, ngaba minu banjani. Is in just kama guzone makai. Because the things that we come from, from home. Is that an ufunu kuchesi bambege? Uma mistakes. Na ma limitations of our forefathers. Oba baba 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 Ugutu imagine, simelo ugutu ita inko si pe fruitful. Ita inko si ge masi kikize. Uko na intellectual bankruptcy. Uko na ge kushote longo kama. And even na ngapa gate bandi. Even inside the church. Because we do not want to pray. We do not want to study. As fun ukfunda. We do not want to study. And we don't want to work. As fun ukseben. Yabo, those three pillars. Lesos. Those are the things that they add value to your life. So we have to restore all those things. But my own bigger, my partial, the patriarchal life. It was characterized by those three things. What Abraham did, he was a master. 
in building altars. So we are going to have a problem. Because many want houses. So we are going to have a problem. Because many want houses. You must be able to raise an altar. Now change and raise an altar. Maybe what you want, you to find. Because when you have an altar, the open is able to intervene and influence in the world. That's what we are going to have. So all those things. Now all those things. Now all those things. Ziza, let him use Gangkulun Kul. Psalm 22. Uti he tabernacles on the worship. Yeah, I'm talking about the praise of the church. So it tight is a form of the worship and praise. So if it tight in Gangkul, in Hio Mamon, when Zagalan, Gangkulun Kul are going to be able to do it. And one of his attributes is wisdom. So we are deprived of wisdom because we lack we worship, and the worship is perfected in this part. So man, Uma Abe, in terms of Zagalan. Now what happens is Mammon then comes and shuts down all things because we do not understand the laws of the kingdom that we're in. Amen. Amen. All right. So we are speaking about, we are speaking about we are but not, we have to speak about these we things. Got astray, See, things are all to arrive, arrive at the difference between the gift of discernment and it, yes, and daily discernment. And then the Lord is going to help us. Galatians okay. scripture. So, kindly go back to chapter seven, verse number twenty-two to twenty-three. Okay. So we have built up from chapter five. Chapter so six, and now let's move to chapter seven. We are now in the chapter seven. What does it speak of? Umang abu Apostle Paul appears in chapter two. If Apostle Paul appears, this king. Come when he goes. Is it Aquila? Is it Aquila? 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 Aqu Mm. Uh, judgment. Yes. And the third one is. Oh, let's, let's check on the screen. Yes. Yes. Now, as he reasoned about righteousness, self control, and judgment. All right. So, yes. So, now, the element of judgment. So, Paul. What that when he ministers to people, he has to speak about these things. So again, we are born to learn. 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 Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? Okay, now, what is the Lord speaking about here? He's speaking about people that did works in his name. All right. Many would say in that day, remember day. So, la in context, they now speak of the day of judgment. So, in that day, many would say in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Remember, remember, to prophesy is not limited to predicting the future, but it comes by foretelling. Okay, so that comes by the action of the Holy Spirit. It is one of easy po umoyengwele. I got the Ah, you got nazo. I got the see funda nazo. Who chapter twelve? Go first Corinthians, right? So, so should you get in close to kulu mangan go go sebenza kwa ke sebenza umoyengwele. Working by the Spirit. Sebenza sebenza is easy po. Sebenza sebenza abant gifts and People. It's and now the, the gifts. Okay. Office. All right. Because we've got Amma. Because we are serving the Triune God, we have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So there are the gifts. Anige zeloa ubabo says we need the gift of operation, administration. Okay, and then I will talk about the fivefold ministry that comes from the Lord Jesus Christ, and then I will talk about the gift of the Holy Spirit. So we want to speak about that. Which is what we are speaking about. The Lord now is speaking about all these different gifts. Okay, what many will say to me in that day? What many will say to me in that day? Lord, Lord, have not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name. Okay, so Giatanda, Ogufaga, even Ogu operator. 
I also want to now speak about operating. Ucedenzisa now the gift of discernment of spirits in the works that Holy Spirit does through people which allow yes. me to do that. Let me be here congregating. Prophet that not black and white in a way, Piper. I just see black and white. I've never seen but an angel, nothing. But because we are not the same, we've been gifted differently. The Lord can use you. 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 The The and then that can assist us there is a presence of a spirit like this like this what is that there is now a gift of God Holy Spirit as it manifests through you so that this is a word to what type of spirit is in our midst some may be used that is now an angel if you if a man have come and then they and see what they need to read so this is the angel of the Lord and, and this is the fallen discern, angel this is the fallen of angel of let your voice be the same the angel of the Holy Spirit that comes from the Holy Spirit that comes from the Holy Spirit that comes from the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit person so that the church may be edified that is the word that the Holy Spirit does in the name of Jesus Christ so that we are all in the church so that we are all in the church what does the Lord say? Uti, if you can now take the fact that you have been used and then the next day on Monday you continue to practice lawlessness and do things as in a we are going to go to hell. You see now it's now starting to be clear and that yes, you give to operate in your life. But it does not give you it is stand in the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. So, should you get Therefore, it means you can be able to see these things. But then you are now found out drinking alcohol. It now becomes a problem. We are going to do the thing now that there's repentance and And the Holy Spirit will continue to use you. Because now he weighs. You saw that 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 that you saw 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 you that you saw that you saw that you saw that you saw According, according to your calling and you use you while you are still swimming in sin during the week because you have not been taught and you have not been taught and now it seems as water has been thrown on the dark you see when you throw water on the dark speck because there is that oil then when water splashes on the because water has not been taught because water has not been taught because water has not been taught there is a gland that carries oil there is a gland that carries oil that when the water comes out of the feathers that the water has not been penetrated so the water has not been penetrated so if you say it's like throwing water so if you say it's like throwing water and the back of a duck it means it has no water in it 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 so if you say it's like throwing water and the back of a duck this is what I'm trying to explain. That the Lord can use you. The Lord can manifest through you. You can be able to discern spirits. Maybe even pray for this gift. That Lord, please assist me so that I'm able to discern. And if you are able to hold to their experience, we say that this is a genuine real time as to how you are in trouble. Because what it says, you now, you now, you now, you now, you now, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? And done many wonders in your name. It's a wonder. It's something that is extraordinary. But the Lord is saying that is not a ticket. That would make us enter heaven. Amen. Let us verse 15. Let us verse 23. Okay. And then I will declare unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me. You who practice lawlessness. So now, 
Meaning, what is going to assist us for us to enter into the kingdom We have God. to know the Lord. Beyond the experiences of the working of Let his gifts. Let me quickly come to a daily discernment. The word in Hebrews chapter 4 verse number 12. Hebrews so that's daily discernment. Okay. Yes. yes. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul and spirit, and joints and marrow, and it is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. I literally, I literally, I have a quote wrong. I said, I'm not I'm not sure. i I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not so it's joints and marrow, not bones and marrow. Yes. So it's joints and marrow. So now listen again, and it is a discern of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Okay. So is we. So is we. Now the word. It is the discern of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Okay. So now, a daily discernment is a is a mobuti by is will the word lingeling a pagati for the word to enter in. inside of us him below yalo. and allow the word to live his life. And one of our characteristics, now the characteristics of the is life that of the it word is a discerner. So, so when self has died, so when pila has and now the word and is a pillar daily and the word living daily, then you will be able to discern on a continuous basis, not on the event of Umoyang well. If you see the band, in a certain occasion, gamma events are teen. But if the word is a resident, the killer is, and the word lives, and it is part of your daily living, your daily living. Then you will be able to walk, not in. Not, not in the discernment. I in, the of your in, the discernment in the discernment that comes the with the nature of the way. Because it is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So, so to get a daily discernment is a ganjan. How does a discernment come? It comes by the word entering yes. inside of you. And then you become the word must and conquer then, you. And then Lord, I'm going to say you are the word live inside of you. So, South Africa. It, then in South Africa? It was a Britain. Then South Africa, even the currency are corner, and even the language is this. Some other countries, Elokuzen, Africa, they were colonized by Abba. Africa was colonized Portugal. by Portugal. Because more of your language corner is Portuguese. When you get the language is Portuguese, they speak that language. They were seen in Belgium. It was Belgium. It was Belgium. But they were colonized and by then those they nations. They adopted is in the language and even up to our current is a call. It is me, so, so it is so so with us. If we allow the word to colonize then us, us among us, us, among us, 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 therefore the life of the word will become our daily life. Then it will become a daily experience. A daily experience. Now, among us, we will be able to figure out. If now the word comes, it comes and puts one foot in and one outside. It comes holistically so in the full package. It comes with the character of yes. Christ in full fullness. The very thing I will declare to you, depart from me, for I never knew you. Because the person who knows the Lord is the person who has his word 
not the Holy Scriptures being quoted by the head, but the Word of God living. So that's the person who knows the Lord. So the difference between it is a person who has fully died unto his self-will. Then that person works in telecommunication. Now, Apostle Paul, when Apostle Paul speaks about marriage, but I speak as a person who has the spirit. And I'm saying, and of course, young men, and a lot of 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 young men, and to discern our issues pertaining the issue, our areas of marriage, because it, it came from the mouth of the Lord through an apostle to a person who was walking in daily discernment by visual, which Uber has said, Arab, I feel. And now the will of the word was living. Yes, the difference now with the gift is the gift. Let's cover this angle again. Through in Hebrews chapter 5, verse number 14, Hebrews 14, 14, which is solid food, is for the matured, who by the reason of constant use have changed their senses to distinguish between good and evil. All right, so we are born good together. Um, to discern between good and evil is the fruit of the diet. It's, it's the fruit of the solid food. Apostle Paul in Corinth. He says, I'm ready to eat the food. But you are not ready. Simply because um, we are still novices. We are still babes. You are in need of, of what? Of me. Because there are divisions and ends and all, and all of those things amongst you. You are not ready for what? For solid food. So it means there are different rations of the, of the word of God. And the revelation of the word of God that comes by. Because even with milk, you must take the milk. Not just take the milk. Not just take the milk. Not but take, take it in and take it out. But take it in and keep it inside. And, and allow the milk to make you grow. So that it can strengthen you or strengthen you. So that it can strengthen you or strengthen you. So that it can move from a toddler. Who to another phase of your growth. But if you take the milk, you will not be able to retain the milk. Because you are not going to be able to eat the milk. Because you are not going to be able to eat the milk. Because we do not have teeth. Because we haven't even taken in milk and kept it in. But I am going to say that you are going to be in morning class in the congregation. It would I feel be like shame. asking, how many people have attended oh, the, the morning class? Morning class. Because it speaks about the foundation. Yeah, call. It's saying, I'm a believer. 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 I'm a from yeah, the Bible class, Bible Bible class, class where they do not attend. But the process like process has been played. That when you come to your morning classes, there are three modules. Go and then you are going to move them. to the next phase. Yes, we are yeah, going to well, the next phase. So, now, we are going to move to the next phase. Yes, we are going to move to the next phase. Yes, we are going to move to the next phase. Yes, we are going to move to the next phase. Yes, we are going to move to the next phase. Yes, we are going to move to the next phase. Yes, we are going to move to the next phase. Yes, we are going to move to the next phase. Yes, we are going to move to the next phase. Yes, we are going to move to the next phase. Yes, we are going to move to the next phase. Yes, we are going so, meaning here, yes, it daily discernment is a maturity. But immaturity, you must be faithful with that which the Lord has given you, and then you are going to develop a capacity. And then develop a capacity, and to be able to receive more. The Levites, the Levites, they were supposed to serve at twenty years. I'm saying, 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 I'm Quite a twenty years, Ngoba. Quite a young man, Ngoba. Yeah, in yeah in the age, in the stature. Because there was the age and the stature that you must be in. Yeah, but Ngoba, most of them are fifteen. 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 Ngoba
religion so, of Levi. It is so with the word. Solid food is for the mature. It is of a spiritual age. Okay, so. The difference now between the seed and the Daily discernment is an empire. With the life of the word. Let us see it in Galatians chapter uh, 2, verse number 2. So that we can continue. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Yes. And, so, the, uh, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Mm. So, now with Paul, Uti, I have been crucified Paul. with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So, this is the state of a person. Also, yes, say, that has reached we a place daily of walking in daily discernment. Now, are we can tell you seven Daily discernment does not cancel the working of the Holy Spirit. God 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 and then we grow. Our Maktua Ed. Apostle Peter speaks like um, that. Second yes, Peter chapter one, from verse number uh, five to eleven. Uti unto faith, add what moral <laughs> excellence. Okay, so <laughs> it means Meaning, <laughs> to that which you had, you moral must add. Moral excellence. So it means things. Things. we walk in we, we gift. But, but we must not remain there. But now we are given the so that we are assisted so that we are able to grow and to be able to take in the word. Then must see lap again. Then so says hamba in the full package. Amen. Two case studies must see and see a vala. So for the name being and then close. We are going to look at you, Peter. Um Sifunu Buga Ilo Kuzane um Umethi chapter sixteen. Uh, from verse number 17, because that's Matthew chapter 16, verse 17. Yes. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. So that was the post 17. Yes. Now, when Zangala and Layabu Zinkos, it's a question of discernment. Who do people say I am? And then Ebesege Bayakas, Agabadi Nama answers are money. With different answers. All right. And then Ebesege Upita, a taller ear revelation. Peter finds a revelation. Okay. Utige, Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Bachona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Okay, so now, la Peter is now being assisted uh, by the heavens to be able to understand as to who the Lord Jesus Christ is. Okay. And the Lord says, it's not because you are wise. Amen. It's not because you are wise. Amen. Because because we, there is the thing of us we, 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 we come by the thinking that we are wise are think that we are pure in the many if the theologians that have been given in minds but they don't uh, live a consistent according life according to the character of Christ so Jesus so it is the Lord who opens up our mind for us to be able to understand there is a cry of understanding there is a cry of understanding as to what is being taught here. In a level here to ask the church. And then and our level there is a great disparity. We understand between what the Lord speaks and teaches and where we are as the church in terms of the understanding. All right. So now we see Ugutige. For the mind to be opened. from flesh and blood. It does not come in your But it comes from God. It's something that we pray for. We pray for understanding. Luke chapter 24, verse number 45. Yes. 
just passing by. Yes. Then Zofunde, Uti, he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. So we are born Uti la ingosu chese You see now that it was he not Jesus Christ. He walks in his resurrected body. And then he comes to his disciples. He tells them. Uti, then he said to them, these are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you. I spoke to you while I was still with you. That all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and prophets and the Psalms concerning me. So kuluma ngutike, go on ke okupaliwe, Old Testament ya kuluma ngayo, uti mele kwenze. That it Amen. must happen. Right. So kuluma ngani ngokufa kwa ke, na ngokufa. He speaks about his death and Ngoba. his resurrection. Why kulumile, uguti. Because he did speak about Uzo this. Uzo nganyulezwa, ebe se ya fuka. That is going to be crucified and is going to rise up again, but they do not believe now, him. Now, now you get focus point here to go verse number 45. Now, we last, it's nage kon. Which is going to be and he opened their understanding <inaudible> that they might comprehend <inaudible> the scriptures. <inaudible> so it is the Lord who opens <inaudible> our understanding. <inaudible> okay, it is the Lord who opens <inaudible> our understanding. <inaudible> so, <inaudible> if we do not understand, we should go <inaudible> to the Lord <inaudible> and <inaudible> ask him, <inaudible> he is faithful, he is going to give us understanding. What was that, Daniel? Daniel chapter 9. In the set of Daniel, when Daniel prayed, when the angel came to explain, I have come to give you what skill to understand. Yes, he came to give you what skill to understand. Then it comes to Sakhal, he should to Sakhal. He should to be able to see things from all perspectives or from all areas or sides. He should have the front view. He should have the front view. He should have the front view. But you cannot see from the back. You cannot see on the sides or on the other side. But you are only limited to one view. But that, that, that term, he should have a skill. He should have a skill. He should have a skill. He should have a skill from an elevated position. He should have a skill. He should have a skill. He should have a 360 view of the matter. So, if you think that the angels expand the capacity of Daniel, you can understand and understand what you believe. And if you have a story to speak about him, by the books, through the word of God, of God that came to the prophet Jeremiah. So, we can see the scripture, scripture of Daniel, in what you have to read, a specifier in number of years. Yes, so captivity is Israel. But then, why is the figure of the Israel. 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 understanding the Pelacon? Why is the Atanda? Then you have to figure in the Lord. You have to get more insight. So, Obu Shugu Tigen, whenever we come to a place whereby Segu Pelacon Con, that should not be a signal, Yogu Tigen, no Senge Yerale. But it should be the signal for prayer, Sister Lipo Suches, is a Caesar, is Legale. And then, in that way, this paper is going to be closed. This is kind of that speak up, it's spoken about Caesar Vale. Caesar Vale. Caesar Vale. Amen. Yes, uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse number 17. So, utola ke revelation. Now, sifuna ugubuka, sifuna ugubuka in a case study. We want to now go through this case study of the working of ability to discern supernaturally with the absence of daily discernment. Okay, so we are told, blessed are you, Simon Bachona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. So we are told, Sambul, we are going to know in Christ. He is now able to tell that it's Christ. And it was given from him by Heavenly Father. Amen. So now, when you go, read further down. From verse, same chapter, from verse number 20. Uh, this is Ophiago, verse number 23. Yes. Then he commanded his disciples that they should tell no one that he was Jesus the Christ. Amen. From that time, Jesus began to show to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised the third day. Okay. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall not happen to you. Amen. Now the Lord is speaking about purpose. As the one I was born for, I was born to die. I was born to die. So, when you come to the critical things, as it dies, when you change your prayer, 
and you want this I purpose, you are going to see now the Hell table coming. Hell will break loose. When you want the purpose of your existence, then you are going to encounter your opposition. Because the, the enemy is against, is against everything that the Lord wants to so do through your life. So we see life. the principle the minute so that when it touches the thing of the cross, then it touches the thing of the cross, and the opposition comes in Peter through Amen. the devil. Yes. So then, then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall not happen to you. So say who Peter man yourselves the Gaku look It is now Peter who knows more than the Lord. perversion. You see now perversion. Oh, it's now the flock that knows more than the pastors as to what has happened. Why? Hey, because now the two men revelations. You see, you 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 pray. And the the same to come with the same. Now they want you to attend what they say with the revelations. Now everything is to stop because the knowledge is not there. He said, "Oh, everything there." Peter did it. So now we are not saying rebuking us. We are not saying that we are not rebuking the Lord. He is now telling what the Lord, what is right for the Lord. Yeah. So altogether, then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, "Far be it from you, Lord." Open that, Lord, the foot. He also says, "Lord, open that, Lord, the foot." Because can't he? He goes. So, manje, ma uti Lord, u Lord, u kulma gutige, ya submit a guwe, ya bo, I take instruction from you. God, da uti ena far pit from you, Lord. Confusion. Chaos. Ya bo, so, now, Sergey Abonagala, la gut impel. It's not fear that Peter is not alone. Yes, he said, and we must learn the lender. But I hope Peter will arrest him. He was used as a vessel to arrest a demon. Amen. So la Peter get Utiga, then Peter then he took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall not happen to you. Okay, verse 23. Right. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan, you are an offense to me. For you are not mindful of the things of God, but of the things of men. So Now the devil now clings to a flesh. Yes, if we are going to now cling to a flesh, then we will be prone to long to every type of right. So now we are sure to get behind the Satan. You are not. You are an offense to me. Okay. For you are not mindful of the things of God. You are not mindful of the things of God. For you are not mindful of the things of God. Um, we are going to advance by by overflow. As to what overflows inside of you. Where we are, we are not warm. It's not clear if we are cold or hot. Because there is a need. Because we need to be mindful of God. We need to be mindful of God. And then we are going to be able to move forward. So we are not mindful of the things of God, but of the things of men. Amen. Now. Why is this Allah? Why is this Allah? We want to show that Peter was assisted by the Heavenly Father and was able to discern that this is not Jeremiah. This is not one of the prophets, but it is the Christ. So, Peter was able to discern that this is not Jeremiah. This is not one of the prophets, but it is the Christ. The gift of discernment is so important and so accurate. But in the same sitting, in the same instance, Sibona, he found the enemy now entered inside Peter. So, we now find that in this instance, Peter was not able to grow in his walk with the weight. In his walk with the weight. That he may be filled with the word. That he will not have a place to enter inside of him. Amen. So it means it discernment was present by the spirit by, by the spirit of the heavenly Father. More than the spirit of God. But la in his walk with the way. He was still in his infancy. Why is that same Ghanaian back? So in case that you call good to get, we are not going to answer this one. They are told that you can be mightily used by God to tell the difference. God, the footy, the angapinda bonaga, the footy satan. But at the same time, 
we can also find the devil in, the in you while you are being pit. used by God. Amen. Now, as Peter, let's now look at Peter again. We are going to look at wide in the spectrum now. We are going Imagine. to observe him at Pentecost. And we are going to look at the same book, Matthew chapter 26, verse number 74. Matthew chapter 26, verse 74. Then he began to curse and swear, saying, I do not know the man. Immediately a rooster crowd. Amen. the same scripture translation for the translators. Then Peter began to proclaim loudly that God should curse him if he was lying. He asked God in heaven to witness that he was telling the truth and said, I do not know that man. Immediately, the rooster crowed. Now, when Zagalanla, in Gosu Jesu, is all better. The Lord Jesus Christ is about to be crucified. Peter, Upiga, he association. Peter is denying Upazana. Upi Angmazi. He says, I do not know him. Upiga, the first girl and the second, and then the third, the third person is on loser. And then Coming this is a response I later. Then he began to proclaim like that God should curse him if he was lying. While he's lying. It's confusion. It's if you know, you, you, you see, he but had the zeal to work with the Lord. But he, he was, was not yet so molded to be able to do it. He said, I'm not yet molded to be able to do it. He said, I'm not yet molded to be able to do it. But the Lord told him that's not going to happen. They are going to deny me. But when this situation now comes to prove what he said, it's me, the son. 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 It's me, the this yeah, is now before the Passover. In, in, in before the Lord so, is crucified. He's trying now to cover up. That God should curse him if he was lying. He asked God in heaven to witness that he was telling the truth. He's now telling God to come and witness two lies. You want, it's the same people that want you. They know that they are on the wrong. But you want to crowd that's going to be on the side. So you know that they can hide their weakness. Because they are think that we do not want to give to the Lord. We want to give to the Lord. Thank you. Want to keep. Keep. I do not know for how long. Because judgment day is coming. But people are proud that they've got their short tempers. They are proud that they don't forgive. And some are aware of this thing. But they have not taken an effort to buy the same course. But they are aware of the same thing for them to take it to the Lord. Instead, they found a way to defend themselves and to protect their weaknesses and to cover it up. As you cover it up, it's going to eat you up. Because you're going to cover it up. The time is going to come whereby it's over. And it's going to be over. And it's going to be over. 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 It's you go to smoke or to drink. You go to make the little drink. But each time you feed the demon of alcohol, it grows. And then it tells you when it wants to smoke or to drink. It tells you when it wants to drink alcohol. So these are the things. If you are not in the light, then we do not want to confront. You see, for us now. The, the, the disease that we have. We love our flesh way too much. We do not want to take our flesh to be inconvenienced. No, my sin, I'm telling you. Oh, it, it, it's actually now, it has the sin that's going to take us to hell. Even, it, even, it, even the leadership has this disease. There are things that we're supposed to confront, but we are, we are scared. We are supposed to tell certain people to stop doing wrong things, but we are scared because we're going to let certain people's feelings. This thing now continues to grow in the church in the sense of the people. What does God say to Eli? He judges him. He says, well, now, we're not going to judge him. So, let's go, let's go. 
Now these things don't really help us to come out of it. Because the truth doesn't favor anyone. It does not favor anyone. As one prophesy, it's truth and it remains truth. It's the person that sees what the truth says and to what it means. We have to hand over the church back to God. We have to hand back the church back to God. According to Acts chapter 20, verse number 32, now I command you unto God and unto the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance amongst those who are sanctified. Paul is saying to the elders he said, you're not going to see my face anymore. He says, but I leave you into God and his word because he's the one who's going to be able to keep you. Amen. So, Peter, this is Peter that we are speaking about. That he wants now to cover up his weaknesses. This, is, this was his state at Pentecost. Sorry, at Passover. Passover. Yes, at Passover. Why are you going to? He was now, like this. Quickly for fast forwarding, says Ovan. When the Lord Jesus comes to Jerusalem, he says, in Jerusalem. Do not leave until you receive the gift of the Father. about the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. So, the number of days between Passover and Pentecost is 50 days. So, they stayed in this, in this upper room. I don't know who to be in this upper room. So how many times they met during the day for prayer. Because the word of God says, when the day of Pentecost has fully come, they were in one place and in one accord. So, they were in one place and they were also in one accord. So, meaning, they held on to the word of the Lord they adopted the and culture then, of heaven. In the day of Pentecost, also in the Pentecost, when Holy Spirit Babo came, they were seen as Amen. one. So now, we are in one place, physically, but we are in discord. So, manje, we are Passover. We are now approaching the Passover. The window is going to be open once again. Between Passover and Pentecost, there is a possibility of the outpour of the Spirit of, of your revival. Just as it happens in these days, but it is conditional. God. That somebody must change location and dwell in the upper room and change perception. Okay. All right. So, guess what? When Holy Spirit now came, when you look at Acts 2 14, Peter now, after Pentecost, and Pentecost, when what Peter happens? Peter standing up with the eleven, Peter standing up with the eleven, raised his voice and said, to them, men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and heed my, my words. So, Abantu. Now, the people. Yes, Abantu The people that were there. The civilized world. They were there in they Jerusalem. Were Jerusalem. They were confused. So, meaning they left someone who is going to be able to discern. So, now we see Peter being used by Simon God mightily. Hey, 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 so, now we see Peter being used by God mightily. Explaining as to what is actually going on by the word of God. Because he quotes the book of Joel. Word for word. So now it is the cluster, the combination of the gift of discernment by the Holy Spirit and also the daily discernment that comes by the indwelling of the word operating and pulling up in the same time. So, we now see this now combining. Now, before we saw discernment on its own, but now this side is the discernment of the Holy Spirit and now the indwelling of the word of God it is now working together in the same person no more. Why, why he divorced him? He divorced himself from the Lord. This time, we find him fellowshipping. He associates himself with the Lord. He is speaking to the same audience. 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 
and God. This side will be a coward. This side will be a boldness. This side will be a This side is standing He doesn't care what people say. Now he walks by the discernment of the word. He is able to tell. Now, let's see scripture. Let's now the scripture you can take the food you can take and read it. if you can take the book of you won't be able to it's locate just the grace the time. of god, it's it's just god. It's apostolic go to learn to lay out cool no joel man just say we yo yabo he learned a lot in the strip of time yabo so man yabo go to go sebenza kuka mo wengo le grace ka kunku le is sebenza kuya we say go as upon the list is according to now able to now do to write it to write the we see now the things combining daily discernment. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. No, that's the verse of Matthew chapter 7, verse number 23. Ogutsi. In the Lord loves us, it does not want to us to go to eternal damnation. It does not want us to ride on our giftings to hell. He wants us to know him. I like to pray someone who says, Lord Jesus, it's painful. It's painful. And I do not have capacity. Foot and knock. Foot and gang at ten Peter. I did also nawe. promise, like Peter, that I'll be with you. Even as a pain, get on a but I was not able to. Get on your way, Tamba. But I trust you. Would you call into our ends? I will Peter upper room. That's something that you did in Peter in the upper room. May you do the same with me so that I'm able to stand. For the truth. Amen. Amen. I like to pray with someone who says I want to take my prayer life to a higher level. I want to move from the noise that is in the place that I'm in. In no other things. I want to come to you and to walk like Moses. And it's what I have. He walked as though he sees the one who is invisible. He walked as though he sees the one Give me that boldness, Lord. If you have that in your heart, please come that we may pray. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.